and welcome back to the Dark Cosmic Universe. My name is Amien Savage, and here we are looking at some new toys. Um, some were part of a collection that I just started collecting um, sometime last year, and then some of them I actually just picked up uh, in the last couple days. All right, so the ones in the back, as you can see, um, the Super Mario Brothers Spike figure and the Dr. Eggman, that is new. The rest of the stuff I have had, but I've not shown off here on my channel. First of all, if you are new to the channel, thank you very much. Um, thank you for finding my channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you're a returning person, thanks again for that. Uh, if you're a new person or if you're a new subscriber, or if you are just someone who just casually collects toys, thank you so much. This is what my toy channel is about. Um, so I'll show you some things that I've caught um, on my uh, toy hunts. Uh, they could be at the regular stores that I go to, retail, or sometimes I go to the thrift stores like Goodwill and Savers, and I happen to find some of these really cool thrift finds along the way. So, here we go. Let's check out what we've got over here. Um, we could do a quick unboxing, which we're going to do. All right, so if you've checked my previous videos, you know that I did get some Super Mario Brothers figures. Um, that was for the uh, Super Mario Brother Day that I kind of showed off. Well, this is new. I just got this the other day. I said, I do not have Spike. And wouldn't it be great to add Spike to the collection? And here is the wave that Spike comes with. We've got Boom Boom, Spike, the White Yoshi, Cat Mario, and Cheap Cheap. And you can check it out. Here's some of the stuff. It says, collect them all, as you should. And if you're looking for the UP... Uh, uh, you're looking for the uh, the symbol here. Um, here it is. So if you need to pause the video and do that. And as you can tell, these are made by Jax. And this is uh, 2022, but um, got it the other day. So apparently maybe it was made in 2022 and just came to the shelves. Um, if you're looking to find these figures and you're wondering where you can get them, um, if you go to Target, Target has a section where they have their action figures and toys. And usually they kind of have them grouped together. So Sonic and Mario are pretty much in the same section if it is like a normal target that uh, I go to. So maybe a little bit different for you. Uh, you might find the video game figures in a different section, but that's where I, I find them. Now, these particular ones that I find that do not have the plastic around them and are like this, um, these are located near the registers, uh, usually around uh, in, well, Walmart, and that's where I pick them up. And they're about $4.97 each, um, thereabouts, for a figure. So not a bad thing, not a bad price, I think so. Again, I, you know, I've been collecting these for quite a while. And again, uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen my collection, I did start showing off some of the Mario figures um, that I have acquired. I have a Donkey Kong figure. He just jumped right out there. And uh, now we have a new uh, character to the collection, so I'm going to have to find my Mario figures. Check it out, and we'll check out and see how big um, this figure is. So he's just approximately... A little bit over two inches if you care if you count that little hair tuft um so i'll give it for two inches and i'm going to put him over here and i will put in that putting him with my uh mario figures and now for dr egghead now if you notice down here we do have another character um this is i believe now again i wound up watching a video last night just to kind of confirm um that dr eggman and Dr. Robotnik are pretty much the same character, um, except one was overseas. Uh, and if I remember correctly, if I watched the video correctly, and again, if I, if I do not um, give you the right information, I do apologize. Um, so Dr. Egghead was overseas, more like Japan, China release. And over in the United States, um, we knew him as Dr. Robotnik. So if you're kind of wondering what's the difference between Dr. Egghead and uh, Dr. Robotnik, they're pretty much, I believe, the same character. Again, uh, I don't know that for a complete fact, but I did look up some information on it. And we're going to take Dr. Eggman out, and I'll kind of show you what's on the back of here. If you're looking for this particular figure, um, if you happen to see these figures, um, which are part of um, the series, you might be able to find Dr. Eggman. Uh, I have not seen Chopper yet. That would be a cool addition. Um, there's Silver. I think I saw Silver. The other night, but I was at Walmart the other night and I was like, oh, let's go see what they have here. And it was one I don't normally go to with the registers in the front of the store. And I happened to see Dr. Eggman. This is one of the ones I wanted so bad. 
And so now he's part of my collection. Didn't have to pay extreme, um, an extreme amount of money for him. So, which is pretty cool. And again, this is by Jax. So if you want to, if you need uh, the barcode and you'd like to scan it and see if your particular uh, Walmart has this particular figure, um, go ahead and do that. And here he is in the back. Dr. Eggman. Yes, see, Dr. Eggman. And the other version was Dr. Robotnik. So let's take a look at him. I'm not sure. I don't think his head, um, his head does not have any. Um, looking real quick. Looks like he does have some kind of articulation. He does. So the head does move from side to side. And he's got that big old mustache. And he's got his, his goggles on there. Pretty cool figure. Well sculpted. And again, this is one of the characters I don't have. Now it says that his arms do have some uh, articulation, which is kind of cool. And again, he looks like a big egg, but that's okay. That's pretty cool. And there's the uh, there's a stamp on the back, so you know where it comes from. And the legs do go side to side. So let me go pick up Dr. Robotnik, and we'll compare the two, and we'll get a measure of these figures. So uh, Robotnik or Dr. Eggman are pretty much, you know, the mainstay villains um, for Sonic. And again, they're pretty cool. Um, had to have both of them. Now I remember um, years, years, years ago uh, when my nephew was, he had a Sega system and I was introduced to um, Sonic and all the Sega characters by going over and visiting him and playing his um, Sega um, video game system console. And I was like, wow, this is so cool. And I definitely want to get that again because I remember the hours of fun that I had fun, you know, playing, you know, all the, the Sega games. And like I said, I'm a big Nintendo person. But, you know, Sega's totally different. And now that we have Nintendo and Sega um, put together, so you can have both of them. I'm going to put those up there. I'm going to get it. And again, so that was Eggman. This is Dr. Robotnik. Pretty cool. Again, he's got lots of articulation. Arms do go up. He's got elbow joints. Uh, I'll take a look over here. His legs kind of go, um, it's got like a ball joint in there. But these are really well done. These are really cool figures. And again, you know, I was like, I just got to have a Robotnik. Got a Robotnik, which was my first one. Got to have an Eggman, too. And I wound up seeing that um, online. And I'm like, it's got to be out here somewhere. So let's take a look how big these figures are. I just knocked someone down. So he's approximately, let's go this way. He's just under three inches. Uh, Robotnik is under three inches. So again, um, about three inches. Um, if you're looking for something that small, let's go pick up who we just dropped. And we got, oh yeah, it's one of the crabs. So check it out. So if you play the video game and you wind up freeing um, your enemies, they turn back into little animals. And that's what Sonic is there to help out his friends. And check it out. Very cool. Again, this one's kind of small. Uh, take a look. So he's definitely, um, again, if you add the claws with it, um, he's about an inch and, almost like inch and a quarter. Cool character. And again, they're pretty skilled um, to, you know, good size. Let's bring out the main person, animal himself, Sonic. The Hedgehog. Very well detailed figures. Again, his head moves. His arms have some articulation. Sonic is giving us the thumbs up. I think these do swivel, but uh, not gonna do it. Um, Sonic's got his really cool shoes. This is pretty cool. And look, look how well detailed they are. And I think they got some words on there. And yes, it does. Pretty cool. He's got his shoes or you know, sneakers. He's got his socks. Sonic is ready to take on the day. And we've got some other characters here. And again, these are just under, they're about, hold on a minute here. Knocked over another one. Like about three, again, these are about three inches, you know, three inches tall. If that's the scale you're looking for, these are pretty cool. And again, um, they're about, you know, like I said, they're about you know, $5 a piece. Um, this is the, the mechanical Sonic. Saw this one, I said, ooh, gotta pick this one up. Again, it's got some articulation going on here. Um, very well detailed. So if you are, again, a 
looks just like Exonic, except it's like a robot. And then you can see the mark, the maker's mark on the back. Jax, check it out. So pretty cool. And I guess this has got to be like a jetpack. I can't remember much in the game. So when they started adding all these characters, and we have Knuckles over here. Again, he's about three inches. And Tails, I know, is in the back here. So again, my limitation, you know, I'm kind of very limited in what I know for the characters. But again, really solid sculpt figures. Jax is doing an awesome job with these. When I first saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, they're making Sonic figures the same, uh, the same, uh, you know, scale for, um, you know, like the, the Nintendo characters that I have. I said, wouldn't it be kind of cool if Mario and, uh, you know, Sonic got together. Now, I got a couple of these. Now, when I was going to Goodwill, uh, like last year, I believe, um, this was from the um, the McDonald's. Uh, move, so the McDonald's uh, premiums that you get. Um, and these are, you know, again, about the same scale. So I'll kind of get knuckles over here. And again, pretty close. But these ones are limited articulation. And they're pretty much, you know, kind of like a like a statue PVC kind of deal. Um, but they're pretty cool, you know. And again, uh, let me think here. We have tails, and I'm just knocking everything over. It is so difficult to try to keep things set here. And uh, again, some of the, the baddies that you get to free, which is really, really, really cool. I like these. Um, and here is tails. And take a look. He's got his big tail in the back, and I'm just kind of like looking. Oh yeah, it does. It kind of, it kind of moves a little bit. So it looks like it's his tail is going. These are really well detailed for like three inches, and again for five dollars each, uh, if you can find them. Again, the waves do change from time to time. So like every two or three months, uh, Walmart, especially uh, near their cash registers, will change them out, or they'll get new ones. And I'm always going over there, you know, looking for. Primarily, it's my Nintendo characters that I'm looking for because, you know, they've got so many cool interpretations of all these video game figures. And then now they've got Sonic. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys are doing an awesome job. Anyway, so again, if you're new to the channel, thank you very much for um, tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. I've got an Instagram. Uh, I'm on Facebook uh, with the Dark Cosmic Universe. And also, if you want to check my eBay shirts out... Um, Couple of them sold this week, so which is really cool. So thank you very much for those who are tuning in and checking the different links that I've got in the description. So appreciate it. So now I can buy some more toys and I can show you guys some new stuff. I am my own Patreon. Isn't that cool? And again, I want to say thank you to everyone. If you are new, please check out. I've got um, close to 90, I'm trying to think, was it 95, 96 um, videos. If you want to just check out what the Dark Cosmic Universe all about, is all about, I would greatly appreciate it. Again, I do like uh, figure reviews. Um, I'll show you stuff from my personal collection and then just things that are just going on with me. So, what was your favorite figure? I mean, I've got so many here. And now, you're going to probably guess which my favorite figures. Thus far, i got to admit, Dr. Robotnik, Dr. Egghead are pretty cool. So, Again, I like Sonic. I like all the figures that I do have, but, you know, I got it. Like I said, for the baddies, you know, you kind of just have a little heart for those uh, misinterpreted characters. <clears throat> anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, I think I'm up to, I think it was like 139 um, subscribers. Getting close to that 150 mark, which means I will have a, uh, I'll do a giveaway for one of the figures. Uh, and again, if uh, you're new to the channel, I, I did give away one figure at uh, at 100. So maybe I'll do, I, I not so, I will do one at 150 if I get 150 subscribers. Uh, again, uh, because of the funding situation and shipping and whatnot, I'm only going to say that the people who, again, this is not sponsored by YouTube. Um, this is sponsored by my own account here. Um, if you are in the United States and you are a subscriber, um, I will just open up to them because international shipping goes into, you know, it goes into a really, you know, it goes into a dark hole that I don't know if I could actually do it. I mean, I could, but, you know, again, it's the whole, hey, I never received the figure, um, you know, and, uh, you know, again, I don't make a lot, I don't make anything off of this channel. I just do it for fun and I love just doing what I do here. 
um, on YouTube. So again, any of the things that come here are from my own personal money bank expenses here. So I just want to let you know, um, I will ship it for free if the winner isn't, again, I'm going to hold the winner to, you know, you hold you guys to saying that the winner will be uh, hopefully in the United States and that's, we'll keep it at. Um, if things get bigger and better and the channel grows even more, uh, maybe I will open up to international for winners. But again, currently that's what I'm just going to hold, hold to my guns on that one and stick to my toys with that. Anyway, thank you so much for following. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for getting the notifications. And if you don't have notifications, check that notification bell because I will post videos from time to time just like this. And again, check out, if you're new to the channel, check out my previous videos. I would appreciate if you guys put a little like on it, uh, subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. It just helps the channel grow, and that would be really appreciative. Anyway, this is the Dark Cosmic Universe. My name is Avian Savage. Thank you very much for watching the video. We will see you soon. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for sharing the videos. Thank you just all in all for participating. And again, which one of these figures was your favorite? Do you own any of the Sonic figures? Do you have any Mario figures? Um, what figures are you collecting? Leave it in the comments below. See you guys sometime soon.